Miller Meeks and Bohannon aren't the only ones making an extra effort in these final hours. Iowa's third congressional district candidates also going mano y mano in the polls held rallies today with their uh, respective supporters. As speaking to voters with BECOM tonight, where U.S. Ag Secretary Tom Vilsack, alongside other big names in the Iowa Democratic Party like State Auditor Rob Sand and Chairwoman Rita Hart, all touted policies they claim would help middle class workers more than Zach Nunn's. Zach Nunn is part of a group. Yes, he's part of a group that wants to eliminate Medicare's ability to negotiate for drugs, the 10 drugs they can't do right now. That's going to save our seniors $1.5 billion. Who do you think needs that more, our seniors or Big Pharma? Zach Nunn is running for what would be his second term in the U.S. House. Nunn's own gathering tonight was a more intimate affair, with the representative speaking with stakeholders and voters. The congressman was joined by Senator Chuck Grassley, who spoke to Nunn's efforts on immigration. So we can turn around uh, all the things that's been wrong for the last four years, mostly the high cost of living and the fact that 10 a million people have entered our country because the, government, the president is not enforcing the law on immigration. Of course, there are two other congressional races in Iowa to follow tomorrow. In the 2nd Congressional District, Republican incumbent Representative Ashley Hinson is up against small business owner Sarah Corkery. And in the 4th District, sitting Congressman Randy Feenstra faces Democrat Ryan Melton, a current insurance company manager with a history in journalism and political science.